Hey everybody, uh, just now getting home from work and um, told you guys I would take a video of the Z Access, uh, the, the Pro, the Z Pro for the Z Access and uh, just kind of show you guys how it works. I was kind of surprised that so many people were having issues with it. Um, to me, I find it to be one of the easiest things to use, but I do know that it is designed to identify, you know, the thickness of material. Um, you do use it to help set your depth for um, your Z access. Now it doesn't, your programming tells you how deep you want to cut, but you've got to tell the machine where to start your cut. And that's uh, basically what I use the Z probe for. So what I'm going to do is I've got a carve set up. I'm working on a couple little projects. Um, I'm going to walk you through the uh, easel process for the carving and setting up a carve and I'll just show you how the, the Z probe works. So I'm going to come here you'll see importing G code I understand uh, it's going to walk you through the you know clamp down the material material is secure now if you set up your machine and you opted for the Z probe you're gonna get this you've got your manual which is the paper method where you put a piece of paper underneath the bit and just lower your bit until you have enough tension to uh, where you can't move the paper anymore that's accurate um, I, I've done it once uh, to me the, the Z probe just works as well and, and I actually like it I feel like it's more accurate Especially when you're doing a, a multiple bit, a multiple bit cut where you have multiple bits interchanging. Um, so anyhow, so here you go. So you hit the the pro button. So what this is going to do is it's going to ask you to confirm position, and this is where you have to jog your machine to where you want to probe it. Now it's important to know that. Um, you can use this Z probe anywhere on your workspace. It doesn't have to be here because this setting this is setting your X, Y. Uh, I mean, it can be wherever you want it. Now, if you've got a board that is warped or you're, you're using your X carve to flatten a piece, um, just keep in mind where you put your probe because if you set your probe at the lowest point of the board, and you set your depth of cut for a quarter inch well when it hits that high point of the board it's going to take off a lot more than a quarter inch and uh, it can make a mess it can probably even damage the bit because you're taking too much off but in this case uh, this board is relatively flat it's not 100% flat I didn't flatten it uh, I'm not a, but this is how it works so confirm position this is where I'm at now it's going to say plug your lead into the carriage. I've done that. It goes right here on the side. Now it says to attach your clip. I've done that. It goes around the collet. So you come up here and you just, it just walks you right through the process clip is attached. Now, this is where it says touch the plate to the bit to check connectivity. So this is where the science of this whole thing works. But you touch it and you come up here and if it's green it means it's touched. Take it down and then you just set it up underneath it like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hit touch plate is in place, start probing. And as long as it's underneath the bit, it's going to come down and touch the bit to the plate, and then it's going to raise back up. So now, you come up here and you hit, after you take it off, and put it back in its respectful little area, come back up here, Z probe is put away. Now you have to set your X, Y. Now this is where you set wherever you want to set your X, Y. I set mine in the lower corner. So basically that's what the Z probe does. 